Want to figure out how to hydrate perfectly for the best workouts? Listen up. Our first caller is Garrett from North Carolina. What's up, Garrett? How can we help you? Hey, so I have a question about hydration. Um, you guys have talked about it a lot and just the benefits behind it. Um, but I'm talking specifically during a workout. Um, I see guys in the gym who have those, you know, full gallon jugs or have those, you know, Amazon bought ones, the giant lids, and they're chugging them um, between sets. And I personally only go to the fountain maybe two, three times during a workout. And it's not even me, you know, feeling like I need water. It's just, oh, I have a, a second or two. I'll just go take a quick drink and come back. Um, and so I didn't know if there was something during a workout I was missing um, with these guys that are chugging this water or if, you know, what the meaning behind that was. Yeah, no, good question. So here's an easy test uh, to see if you have enough hydration. If your urine is salty, no, I'm just kidding. That's not the test. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> no, it's the color. No, no, here's, no, here's the deal. Um, hydration makes a huge difference. You know, some of the first studies done on uh, adequate hydration and athletic performance were actually, well, not first studies, but one of the most popular studies uh, was done out of University of Florida where they were giving their athletes, um, you know, sodium infused and electrolyte infused water with a little bit of sugar. And they saw this dramatic improvement in performance. This later on turned into Gatorade. This is where the name Gator comes from, Gatorade from University of Florida. It actually makes a huge difference. But here's the thing. Uh, you got to make sure that your electrolyte balance is good as well. Because if you just drink a bunch of water and you don't have enough uh, sodium, sodium is one of the most important electrolytes for sweating athletes. It's not going to do a whole lot. You may actually start to reduce your performance. So try something like this, Garrett. If you're working out and you're sweating a lot and you're drinking, make sure you drink water. Make sure there's some, maybe a little bit of sea salt in your water or even better, uh, LMNT is a company we work with that has an electrolyte powder that has adequate amounts of sodium. And had you asked me this question a year ago, I would have answered it maybe a little bit differently. The big difference now is I've actually tried um, LMNT, which actually has it's a thousand milligrams of sodium in a packet, and I, I notice a big difference. And I always thought as my uh, as someone of myself to be well hydrated. So it give it a shot. I would pour one of those packets in you know a nice big bottle of water, maybe two times the size of a normal bottle of water, and drink half at the beginning of the workout, and then drink the rest during the workout, and see if you get a better pump and better performance. Um, so far, the messages I've been getting from people is. They do see a big difference. And again, the studies do support that. Well, I think the the benefits, aside from like the health benefits, right? The keeping the joints lubricated. And I told you before when I was feeling that thing in my quad that was always popping yeah. and then I started drinking, that made a huge difference. Energy level. Uh, so obviously there's, there's health benefits to you drinking uh, adequate water. But my favorite part about that was what you're talking about with the pump. Like... I remember when I started carrying that jug around and I, I made it like a goal, like I would get a half gallon down before I even went into my workout and then I'd end up doing another quarter to a half gallon during my workout. And I had better pumps from the, the water than I did from any other supplement, you know, to explode or yeah, any man. sub creatine, any other supplement that I've taken, I got a better pump from just making sure I was uh, hydrated like that. So I love that in itself. And that played into better workouts. Well, yeah, I also, from a performance perspective, um, I noticed, well, like what Sal was saying in terms of be, having electrolytes and, uh, you know, that being a real advantage in terms of like performance, but also like. Uh, I remember that one study where they're talking about like cooling your core temperature. Yeah. And so, you know, that has to play a bit of a factor in there as well in terms of like having, you know, a cool water to, to, to bring your core temperature down to recover a bit, uh, you know, more effectively. So that was something that I did notice, you know, if I was constantly hydrating, uh, you know, whenever I'd had time off the field and it was nice and cold, it did kind of bring me back. Now, along those lines, though, Justin, isn't it isn't it recommended that you do lukewarm or room temperature water, not ice cold water? Right. Better to be absorbed, but there's this perceived, um, I guess, improvement in performance, and in, in, in maybe some of it's anecdotal when people will drink cold, right? That, Especially if you're hot. That's why I'm careful about it. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's anecdotal at this yeah. point. But for me, when I had it just a bit colder than, say, uh, you know, my internal uh, temperature, mm -hmm. I was able to bring that down a bit and felt more recovered. Yeah, Garrett, I would say um, experiment and see how you feel. Um, and you'll probably notice an improvement in just how you feel and, and performance-wise. I would always recommend my clients you know, drink water before and after. The longer your workouts are, the hotter you get during your workouts and the more that you sweat, all three of those things um, mean you pro you're going to need more hydration than somebody 
that's not experiencing those things. So if you have a short workout, you're not sweating a ton, it's not really hot, uh, it's not going to make as big of a difference. But if it's a long workout, man, I tell you, it, it, you'll, you'll notice a profound improvement in your performance by making sure that you're adequ- adequately hydrated. Gotcha. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, Garrett. Thanks for calling in. Absolutely. Yeah, this is this is one that I ignored for a long time. Yeah. Like I water, I, 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 let me take a supplement. You know what I mean? Let me eat more carbs. <laughs> well, and it, it made such a huge difference uh, that, you know, it's one of those things you look back and you like, you want to slap yourself. Like, why didn't I do this simple thing? Well, the other right. thing that's I like too is just you, most people I would train didn't get enough water in their day. So when I'd have somebody, just like we talk about protein, like when people yeah. start tracking and paying attention, they realize like, oh shit, I guess I don't drink mm-hmm. that much water. Mm-hmm. I don't eat that much protein. And what I've found is when you're working out and you're sweating and getting hot and you're kind of, you have little rest breaks in between every set, that's actually one of the best times to be able to hit your, your water intake goal yeah. for the day. Mm-hmm. And so I found that having a client carry a, you know, a half gallon or one of those liter bottles or something into their workout and setting a goal to chipping away at a, a bulk of that during the workout, uh, they were, they were more likely to hit their, their water goals in the day. And so mm-hmm. I think there's huge value just in that alone. Yeah. This is one of those pieces of advice or one of those topics where we were advised as kids so opposite. It's oh, ridiculous. We weren't allowed like water breaks uh, just because of the, the mental toughness and discipline aspect. It was, it was crazy because, you know, like uh, just going back and kind of revisiting that, uh, I just noticed like how much better my joints felt uh, to your point about lubricating and, yeah. and just like retaining the amount of water. If you retain like proper amount of water in your cells, you perform better. It's a fact. It's a fact. And I re- I, it's even worse for me. I remember specifically being told by PE teachers – Oh, you have a side stitch or a cramp? Don't drink water. It makes it worse. <laughs> like the opposite yeah, of opposite. What, you're, oh, wow. what you should do. Like, yeah. Oh, you're getting a side stitch because you drink too much water before running the mile or whatever. <laughs> As a kid, I'm like, oh, okay, I should not drink any water while I run. Oh, so, dude. so ridiculous. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.